The uniquely styled Kia Proceed GT has a 150 kilowatt, 265 newton meter turbocharged engine and suspension that was developed with the aid of over 480 laps of Germany's Nürburgring. It also comes standard with a six speed manual transmission and sticky Michelin Pilot Sport 3 tyres. So we've come here today to Sandown Raceway to see just how the little three door stacks up as a weekend warrior. Well, as soon as you get in, there are some instantaneously entertaining things. You've got the GT Performance Digital Dash on the screen, which gives you a readout of your torque, your engine temperature, and your turbo boost pressure, which is cool. But the first issue that we've encountered is there's just absolutely no headroom. And while these Recaro seats are extremely comfortable and very supportive, great for racetrack driving, and a first, in a Kia, unfortunately, you can't get the seat low enough to get into an ideal driving position, particularly when you are wearing a helmet as well. Now the Pro C GT claims a 0 to 100 time of 7.7 .7 seconds, which, while it's not that fast, around the racetrack, the little 1.6 litres quite peppy. Down here at the front straight at Sandown, we're in fourth gear, pretty much maxed out, and that's just shy of 180 k's an hour. And it feels good. It's a little playful in the rear end under brakes, but these, these Michelin tires do an excellent job of just keeping it nice and hooked up through the bends. The gearbox is a really slick shifter as well. It's, um, it's a joy to use. It doesn't like to be rushed. Sometimes if you are coming back through the cogs a little bit, it can feel a little bit unhappy if you rush through it, but overall, it's very good. The brakes hold up pretty well, lap after lap, but you can start to feel a little bit of fade, kind of beyond five hard laps. And for a road car, while it's not a huge surprise, it's a little bit contradictory for, to the car because the the Michelin rubber really starts to warm up and give you that grip after about that time unfortunately if the two worked in unison a little bit more it'd be quite a package through the corners and under brakes so again coming into turn one now at Sandown and it, just a little bit of a push from the rear end under brakes still balanced but it's, it's definitely not shy of getting the rear end a little bit light, but the front turn in is quite good. And while this car doesn't have an LSD, it measures the power quite well. And again, helped by that sensational grip from the tires into third, into fourth at 134. The Pro C GT has a top speed of 230 kilometers an hour, which we're not quite gonna touch today. But it'd definitely be fun chasing that down on the right track. You can feel that suspension work that they've done as well. Again, for a humble little hatchback, that's not a track special or anything remotely like that. It puts up with a hard time pretty well and it sits nice and flat through the corners for a bit of weekend entertainment. Not a bad way to go about it, I reckon. Fun, agile and plenty fast, for around the 30k mark, Kia's first attempt at a genuine hot hatch offers more than enough thrills to keep beginner track junkies entertained.